Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I was just going to do just a general love reading. It's actually kind of a look into, into inside a relationship and the points of view and how to bridge the gap. So yeah, let's get into it. I hope you're all well. I'm going to be back with a pick a card reading tomorrow. But for today, I thought Twin Flame... Twin Flame and a general reading. Oh well. I hope you're all well. I'm sending you lots of love. I plan on spending my afternoon doing personal readings. All right, so first up, Spirit. How is the viewer feeling? This will give you this will give you an idea if this message is meant for you. So we have the chariot. I apologize for the sound of these cards. I love them, but that sound. How is the viewer feeling? Let's see the viewer's point of view. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, you're not going to be able to see all those, so we'll leave them. We'll leave them like that. So this could be mirrored energy, or you could resonate with the person on this side. Take it as it resonates. So we have we have fire energy, we have earth energy, and we have cancer with the chariot. All right, now let's look at their point of view. Right away, a card comes out. The four of cups. The Ace of Wands. I have wax on this card. And every time it comes out, I try and cover it up. I'm just gonna... There we go. Perfect. So we have the Ace of Wands. What else can you tell us about their perspective? have the six of pentacles all right now we're gonna look get over here so we have water earth fire we don't really have any air yet all right so next up how can they find common ground how can they find common ground with this person they find common ground <sighs> uh, you're funny spirit <laughs> how else can they find <laughs> common ground I love tarot so much all right hopefully you guys can see everything that's going on Oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. <laughs> I mean, it's very similar to all the messages that I've been getting in my general readings. All right. Yeah, there was an ending here. We have Ten of Swords and Ten of Cups. <gasps> what is going on, you guys? You guys are my witnesses. 10, 10, 10. Oh my gosh. All right. So what we have here is again, very similar to the other readings I've been getting. So we have an ending here. We have, there was a connection Possibly a twin flame connection with the four of wands. Something wasn't balanced. And I'm seeing this connection not, never got off the ground. So again, you saw this person as your ten of cups. I believe this person saw you as their ten of cups. But this connection became so weighed down with burdens 
Look at how heavy that person feels. Oh, somebody's out mowing their lawn with their... My lawnmower broke this morning. <laughs> I actually had a good cry in my Twin Flame reading, so if you... <laughs> if you want to go to a pity party... <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, this connection became very burdened, full, full of burdens, full of heavy energy. Maybe it wasn't going anywhere. Maybe you felt like you were the only one working towards it, doing the work, and you had to put those burdens down because we have this ending here. And look, this person looks destroyed. They look destroyed here. So we have an ending. So again, on this side, which is supposed to be your side, we have the chariot. Cancer energy. We do have a little bit of fire now here too. Libra. Oh no, we always had fire. It was air. Now we have Libra. Anyway. On your side, I feel like you wanted to move this forward. You wanted to move forward with this person. You wanted to go on adventures with this person. You wanted to show this person love. But something wasn't working here. And this, this situation brought... You guys could have been fighting. With this card, I'm specifically getting from childhood wounding. Because these look like kids, don't they? So there could have been a lot about childhood wounding in your connection that was affecting your connection, making you guys fight, making... Because that's an energy of conflict. And I feel like for a long time you were conflicted about what to do here, but there was an ending, whether or not they ended it or you ended it. Somebody ended this connection. And in doing that, you are sitting in this nine of pentacles energy which is focusing on yourself it's a glowing energy it's a single energy so that tells me that i don't feel like you're with this person currently you could be or because this can be slightly in the past too right so you could be with this person now i might just be telling you what you already know anyway i see you focusing on yourself working on your own pentacles glowing up like mini empress nine of pentacles is mini empress so again you wanted to move forward in this connection but actually putting down those burdens actually made you feel lighter and actually made you possibly maybe you had a bit of a, like i said a glow up here by putting all that energy onto yourself, listening to your own intuition. Now on your person's side, we have their point of view, which is this relationship never got off the ground. It may have never gotten to a point of commitment, not real commitment with that Ace of Wands, but this is somebody that still has a lot of passion for you. And in the Light Seers Tarot, the Ace of Wands very much symbolizes somebody awakening to a connection because the wand the, the energy is in their third eye their third eye is basically on fire and it symbolizes an awakening so i do feel like first of all your person thinks about you when they're in the mood <laughs> with that ace of wands sitting under this tree i don't know maybe not <laughs> But this is also someone that's awakening to the importance of this connection. Look at this beautiful energy right here. Like this person knows, this person knows how special this is. They know it. And they're sitting here thinking like, what, what happened? Why did I not appreciate that love? Because the Four of Cups often talks about someone not appreciating the love that you're giving them or not seeing it, not feeling it again i see like this person sitting here thinking about you your cup's way up there they don't they didn't even notice it when it was there <laughs> they should have noticed it when it was there right in front of them i'm just kidding <laughs> but anyway with there's a lot of twos so again there wasn't balance here and 
you had to focus on yourself and this person had to focus on them themselves and awaken to the importance of this connection and also maybe look at how how much they were giving to this connection because the six of pentacles is very much an energy of not equal give and take and that's why i brought up balance because we have two two something here wasn't balanced and what happens when it's not balanced and somebody overgives and the other person doesn't that chariot goes off course i talk about it all the time that chariot can't move forward it cannot because you're both pulling and you're not moving forward because you're both trying to make the chariot go your own way so I also want to say with the Six of Pentacles energy, this can symbolize somebody who is actually getting therapy. So your person could be talking to someone right now. They could be, even if it's just a friend, talking about their feelings, trying to find balance. And they're thinking about the start with you. They're thinking about how they can make it more balanced, how they can show you equal give and take. Now, how to bridge the gap? We have Justice, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups. With this Two of Cups, I get the very a very strong message of meeting each other halfway. Because look at those two little bunnies. If one of them had to tip over and reach a little more, what's going to happen? Their cup's going to fall over. Right? That goes for both bunnies. So both bunnies have to lean in just enough... <laughs> so that they can kiss. <laughs> this energy is very light here in the middle, which is why I'm giggling. Again, I believe in love. I'm a very, I wasn't always that way, but that's who I am now. And that's what I'm doing here. It's just, you know, spewing my light all over. <laughs> anyway, how to bridge the gap. We have justice, so that's Libra energy. Again, this is going to come into balance, but this has to be, you have to meet each other halfway. For some of you, I am getting twin flames, so there is a level of accepting that union will come in time. There is that, that accepting, you know what this is, and you know your higher self knows that you are going to have justice. This is going to balance out, but again, it's a balancing act and you're going to have to meet each other halfway here. And we have 10, 10, 10. So for a lot of you, I really do feel like this is a new beginning. And if you aren't, I feel like some of you are already in contact with this person. Low contact. And that's why we've got this spark over here. And again, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 craziness. I want to get some oracle cards for you guys. I'm going to try and keep it shorter than usual. I know my readings can be lengthy. We have Angel of Balance. I love that this came out. I love it because <laughs> I was talking about balance. So again, there's something that needed to be balanced here. And actually, actually here i'm looking at the pyramids life after de or life after death yeah regeneration and we have all these tens here so again something needed to be balanced here i always get communication with this card because it's all the blue there's been with that 10 10 10 there's been a cycle that's ended here and maybe there was a communication block, but this is coming coming back in. My ears keep ringing. Very interesting. We have adjacent possibilities. So I'm going to look in the book for that one. Because sometimes, it, depending on the reading that you're in, for me, I feel like this is... You have been through a lot with it. You know what? I'm not going to look in the book. You have been through you have been through a lot with this person. And you could have felt like the door with this Ace of Wands energy. You could have felt like the door opened and then it slammed shut on your face. And then you were in no contact or you were arguing, because we do have that conflict here. But this is showing you that 
there are possibilities here and I like how the the there's light coming through all of the doors so again it doesn't really matter what way you take you're still gonna make it but that's like that energy of it doesn't matter um what path you take you'll still end up at the same spot the spot that you were meant to it might take a little longer but you'll still get there let's get one more <gasps> blossoming oh, blossoming abundance look at this we have second chakra Arch Arch archangel ariel blossoming blossoming abundance empress energy three that's this very much gives me Ten of Pentacles vibes because there are pentacles hanging in the trees. Again, you are about to come into your abundance. Door to value. This is coming. This door is opening. Again, for some of you, you're already in communication. I really do feel like you're already in communication. Anyway, I'm going to look up this card. Intimacy and creativity. Bright orange and energy promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. Beautiful. So again, you have abundance coming. You have <clears throat> a strengthening of intimacy with this person, whoever this person is to you, this two of cups. But again, you have to meet them halfway here. I'm seeing the cleanup card in this deck where take accountability what's what's on your side of the street. But anyway, we'll see what comes up. Spirit, what message do you have for the viewer? We have justice to be fair. That's amazing. Incoming communication. You have balance coming in this connection. Somebody's been transforming. I think it's been both of you with this energy of meet halfway. I believe that there needed to be balance here before this could be released. Again, for some of you, you're already in communication. For other, others of you, you're about to hear from them. And Spirit's already sending you signs about this person. Let's get one more card. New life. Oh my gosh. There's new life in this connection. That's beautiful. I feel like this person maybe wore a mask in the, in the past, or you did. Take it as it resonates. But look at that mask. But this person's coming in again, evolved, transformed. We have peace on the bottom. Beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, let's get Let's get these black ones. So we have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. We have wedding rings on the bottom. So yeah, here we have snakes. So this person could have hurt you in the past. Take it as it resonates. I didn't see anything. I mean, we only got three cards, but this is more about someone not giving to a relationship, not appreciating it. Um, I don't really see anything about manipulative behavior, but we do have the snake here. So for some of you, this person could have had that seven of swords energy. They could have deceived you. There could have been a third party. I'm not saying there was. And yeah, we have the chaser. So again, this could have been you chasing this connection, trying to move forward with that chariot, trying to move it ahead for the both of you. But you couldn't. You can't pull their weight. You can't. It'll weigh you down with the Ten of Wands. It'll weigh you down. They need to ascend. They need to push forward on their own. 
And yeah, we have addiction, codependent, obsessive, uh, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block. There was a block here. And the harder you chase, that separation, that separation, the harder you chase the runner, the faster they run. And the more they run from their problems. But I really do feel with this separation card, with addiction, this is someone that's has dealt with this energy here. They could have addictions to substances. And we have, I like you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting. I want to date. So again, you have messages coming in from this person. They are coming. Let's get hearts and charms. Whoa. All right. It's very interesting. I love how these those cards specifically, I, I mean, I don't really like the shape of them. I have low battery. I have to go get my charger. Anyway, I don't really like the shape of them, but I love the way they shuffle because I feel like they pick up the energy very well. I'm just gonna go grab my charger. All right, we're plugged in again. So transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. I keep burping, <laughs> which is confirmation. Only time will tell. Again, there is that message of don't rush into this. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. I did say your person is thinking about you in that way. We have embraced through each other. You find the missing pieces. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Manifesting miracles. There's so much about this is about to happen. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Forgiveness. Work on that forgiving heart. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your reflection. Very important. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And that actually gives me a very nice segue. Is that what it's called? I just, I added this to my setup today, and I just want to explain, especially with that message, that is which, that of, that which is beyond our control is the whole... I accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And yeah, I added this to my setup today, and for those of you who didn't listen to my very emotional twin flame reading, which I don't blame you, um, I am a recovering alcoholic, and this is my 14-year sober sobriety chip, and I decided that that's a part of myself that I hid from the world, for a very long time, even after I was sober, I kind of treated it like I should be ashamed of it. The fact that I had addictions, the fact that I was an alcoholic and I didn't want to admit that to people. But now it's a very important part of my journey. So I'm adding my 14 year sobriety chip, which I got this year into my setup for good energy. And I'm sending any of you who were in a similar situation or do struggle with addiction, I'm sending you my love because it's not easy. All right, lots of letters today. So we have B, Y, I, L, Q, R, C, C, D, G, F, Z, L, J, P, E, Y, 
S A Q B D G G G <laughs> M W are you here G G <laughs> For some reason, you guys, I started saying GG, JP, I get that one a lot. I started saying GG. And every time GG comes out, I feel the need to say GG. And then I noticed somebody in my comment section named GG. And then I had a very lovely, lovely person named GG email me this morning to give me a little bit of light and inspiration. And I really appreciate that. So there was a reason why I kept saying Gigi. <laughs> <clears throat> Communication. <laughs> throat blockage. Throat chakra blockage. Oh, seahorse! I love that seahorse. I love it. All right, so we have a seahorse. We have a four-leaf clover, a star... We have the starfish. We have handmade, so somebody could be an entrepreneur, work with their hands. We have the wheel, so the wheel of fortune, stars and moon, kitty cat. Oh, we have a heart. That's a beautiful heart. That reminds me, music could be important because that looks like the, somebody will tell me in the comment section. I have the, is it the treble clef? Is that what it's called? The treble clef? The music treble clef. I have a tattoo of a treble clef, but that's the other one. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> I used to play piano. We have an angel, a kitty cat. I loved those of you who recognize the cat. I'm a kitty cat and I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. <laughs> we have a frog, so going through transformation. We have a sun, Leo energy. We have that again. Thank you for the people who keep telling me what it is, but I have ADHD and I can't remember. <laughs> we have the lock and a key. Look. Oh, that one actually almost fits. Look, it fits. Interesting. We have a bunny playing tennis. Oh, we have the swan, divine feminine. <gasps> Look. Soulmates. Twin flames, key, heart. That one always reminds me of cancer because it looks like a crab, doesn't it? Do you guys think that looks like a crab? To me, it looks like a crab. We have a kitty cat, a little child. Looks like a little boy, but gender doesn't matter. Um, Wheel of Fortune again, and a huge kitty cat. All right, my lovely people, I'm gonna... I'm going to leave it there for today and I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you again for all the love and support and I will be back possibly tomorrow or Thursday. I haven't decided with a pick a card, so I will see you then. And until then, I am sending you lots of love, my friend, and stay well. I love you. Bye.